everybody and welcome back to another Coaster Cheetah video and in this video I will be doing a coaster review for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind at Epcot in the Walt Disney World Resort and I already off the bat have to say this is my favorite attraction that Disney has ever done. It's very close between this and Rise of the Resistance however I do prefer this coaster only by a little bit <clears throat> however in this review, I will be saying my likes and dislikes about the ride and talking about the whole experience of riding this. I will not be going over the core, like, step-by-step -step going through the layout of this ride because it's basically just a huge spaghetti bowl of elements of twists, turns, drops, airs, air time hills, and helixes for um, basically the entire main layout. So, yeah, so basically, first, when you go up to this ride, it is very cool. Because you have the awesome Nova Corps ship right out front, and then you have this huge black building. And when I first saw this, like the outside of the building, at first I thought the presentation was kind of meh. But actually being there and seeing the building, it actually does look really cool. It has this cool design on the sides of it, and it just looks really cool. And something that would actually be like a command base or something for the Nova Corps in the Guardians of the Galaxy. So the presentation is nice, they have the gift shop right out front, too, and then <clears throat> you will have your quick, or your, yeah, your fast pass, and then your normal entrance, and you'll go in, and the queue is off the bat incredible, and it gives you a taste of how good the theming on this ride is going to be, because, I mean, it's really just awesome, straight out of like Guardians of the Galaxy or Marvel. It just looks awesome. All the theming on the cues and yeah, I mean the lights, I mean everything about it, the walls themselves, they really just give you that sci-fi space theme, like the feel of it and it's all just really awesome. <clears throat> but then when you get on to the actual like ride itself, a little quick spoiler warning here because this ride is definitely, I mean, I knew nothing going into it, and I think that that is definitely the way to go. So if you do planning on riding this soon, then please click off of the video now. However, so you go in and then you are taken into this little room area, this elevator, and basically, or, or actually, no, first it's the room, not the elevator, sorry. And you have Terry Crews presenting you um, some safety stuff. Nobody really listens to it though I mean it's just kind of like a cool cameo in there and then you go into a different room that ha is basically a huge elevator and this at the very top has like a huge beam that is supposed to act like it's like teleporting you and it's definitely really cool because you are you go into this and then you come out after you are uh supposedly teleported and you're in this other room and there's like flashing lights they're telling you to go something has gone wrong and then you are presented with your station for the ride you go up, and it is really awesome, a dual loading platform. And there's this little bridge above it that it splits down both sides, and you can get great views of the ride and stuff. And yeah, I mean, the station looks really awesome. It actually does look like you would be boarding. It actually kind of looks like out of Star Wars, because it looks like you're like boarding a ship, and you're about to go fight the Imperial Fleet. But no, you're actually going to go fight a Celestial with the Guardians of the Galaxies, so... Yeah, this is just such a really awesome theme for the entire ride. <clears throat> and I will say, unlike the Spider-Man Web Shooters ride at, at the Avengers Marvel Campus, um, I have to say this is actually a pretty cool theme and villain and story for this ride. And it definitely does fit. Now you will get on your actual coaster. So you will turn out of the station, and then you will have the Guardians talking to you while you go up the lift hill, the first lift. And yeah, this is just theming all around you is really awesome. There's like, um, like holograms of the guardians talking to you, telling you what you are about to do. And after you get up, go up the lift, you have some track, and you're basically just being told again. You have screens all around you. You're being told what the ride is um, about and the storyline about the celestial. And then you will have what is probably the best part of the ride, if I can just pick one which is the awesome backwards launch, because as you are being launched, this actually feels extremely fast because there's like a, a lightning effects going on screens <clears throat> as you are blasting off all around you. And it just makes you feel like you're going so fast. And you take off and then you go to the main part of the ride, which starts off with a good floater airtime moment. And then it's just helices and 
banks and everything. And then <clears throat> after this, you will have, at some part of the ride, there will be some breaks uh, here and there to slow it down, which I do understand. And there's one part where you're going down a helix and the moon is in the middle and it's so awesome. And then there's one part where it's supposed to be a lift hill, but you shoot up this thing super rapidly. It's almost, it's basically like a launch. It kind of reminds me of like how I would imagine the launch to be on fly. The second launch, how it's like upwards, even though this, the, I mean, they're two different, completely different rides. I'm not even sure why I compare them that way, but yeah, you launch up this lift all kind of like actually like tornado. That spinning coaster, the intimate spinner that you launch up the lift, it's just a awesome moment. And then you have more section of the ride. This honestly feels like it's never going to end. And again, you have your awesome on-ride audio playing with the music, and you have all the guardians talking to you, and it's honestly just super chaotic and fun. And that's really what I, if I could describe this ride in one word, I would just say fun, because it is such a fun ride for everyone, for the families, <clears throat> which, I mean, I know Disney is kind of hated on for that by the coaster enthusiasts and theme park enthusiasts world, because they just don't build intense rides, but this, this ride is just so fun. This actually probably is a top 15 ride for me, or coaster for me. Not quite sure if it's a top 10, but definitely top 15. So after you get off the ride, you do have a lo an unload platform that you will get off on, and yeah, you will take in the experience that you just rode that coaster, and it was just, I mean, the ride is just outstanding, I have to say. I was super impressed. After I rode Rise of Resistance, I honestly thought nothing could beat that, and I, even going into my Disney trip, I had low expectations for the Guardians of the Galaxy ride, because first of all, I, I hadn't watched any videos on it, so I hadn't heard anybody say that it was so good. However, also, <clears throat> I don't know, I just really didn't, I heard that it was a screen's and that is one of my gripes with this coaster is that it doesn't have any animatronics. And I do think the main spaghetti bowl portion of the coaster, which is the main part, would have been hard for, like, not very good to have an animatronic because you're just going so fast and rapidly around it. But I think at the part, either at the station or in the queue or even at the part before the backwards launch, how you kind of, after the first lift hill in between that and the first launch... I think um, that would have been a great place for an animatronic. However, they didn't put that, and that is a little disappointing. Even one animatronic would have been good, but we didn't get that. <clears throat> and, yeah, I just didn't really have low expectations for this ride, but it just blew me away. But other than that, I really don't have any complaints. And, honestly, I mean, I really do like this coaster, but I'm going to give it a 9.5, because even though it is super fun, it's not my favorite, plus the animatronic thing, which I do have a problem with. And I just kind of wish there was, like, a little more, like, with the Guardians. They're not really too memorable. I don't, I mean, I, if, if if this ride, like, took away the Guardians and didn't have any Guardian theming, I I mean, I wouldn't even, like, it It doesn't really feel like a Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster. It honestly feels more of Star Wars, because it has the planets and stuff, so. They didn't really nail the Guardians theme too much. However, I mean, I don't really, that's not even too big of an issue. I just, it was something that I felt, but... Um, yeah, I assume not everybody will have that feeling, but I, I can especially imagine not, like, getting this, really liking the theme of this coaster if you haven't watched the Guardian movies, because you really wouldn't even understand what's going on. But yeah, guys, so that will be my final scores in 9.5. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. Also comment down below what you think of Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>